You know, it still seems really strange to say this, but with the advent of iOS 11, we now have official Apple screen recordings on our iPhones and iPads. So let's start scrutinizing it. Two things I'm gonna look at today. Can it record internal audio system sounds? And how does it deal with screen orientation? So the first thing we're going to check out is whether or not the screen recording function does internal audio. A very easy way to check this is to scroll up to get the control center, force touch on the record button and make sure that microphone audio is turned off. Once it is, we can start a recording and we'll do a very simple check by going to Clash Royale and letting it load up. So you can hear the music here and I'm going to carry on talking over the screen recording and that should tell us whether or not it's going to not record my microphone. We'll open up the uh, treasure chest there and that should be a good enough test to go back to our recording and stop it by tapping on the top bar here and it says that the screen recording has stopped. Once the recording is complete, all we need to do is go to the photos, tap on the video we just recorded and press play. And hopefully when I get to the Clash Royale application, you should hear sounds, but not my voice. I think that's a definite indication that the sound is recorded. I can't hear myself talking over any of this other than my own voice. Let's keep listening. So I think that's a definite yes. I was talking during the screen recording, but on playback, all it did was play audio sounds. So big thumbs up there. I will say that that is a little buggy. When I first did my test, it didn't record any audio and it's been a little touchy when I've done other tests, but usually it does record internal audio and that's what everyone has been asking for for a very long time. Now, another question that's been asked is whether or not you can record in landscape orientation. So I'm going to test this with a game called Pew Pew, which is a knockoff of Geometry Rewards. It's quite good, actually. Uh, now I'm going to bring up the control center if I can do that. It's a little hard on the iOS iPhone device. But now if I press record, that should hopefully start recording. Swipe down and then we'll do a little bit of gaming here. Not really trying to test the audio this time, and I'm playing absolutely terribly as well. But we're just here to capture some coverage of a game. I think we've done there. And we'll try and get the control center up. There we are, stop recording. And now let's check out the final result. With that recording done, let's go to the photos and check out that video. And on first glance, it looks as if things are okay. It has recorded in landscape but it's set to portrait. You could easily sort that out by doing a flip of a video. Let's play the video. And as soon as you start playing, you'll notice there's a huge problem. It's squashed the landscape video into a portrait video. You can see the score there at the top. So everything has all shrunk down to the wrong orientation. Can you fix that? Let's see if we can try. Now, quick investigation doesn't reveal that you can fix it with a video editor such as Cute Cut Pro, what you may consider a professional grade video editor, at least for iOS. All you would do is import the video into the editor like so. Once it's in the editor, you can double tap on the video. That should give you a border around the video on the canvas and then you can stretch it like so. And once that's done, if I play the video now, you should see that although this is all out of orientation, when I go back to my game, it's properly orientated for landscape play. The problem with this is that Cute Cut Pro is a paid application. I think of around $8 in Canada, maybe six in the US. I haven't yet found a free solution to this, so if you know of one, let me know in the comments below. So a mixed bag, the one huge positive is that it does record your screen with internal audio so you don't have to worry about background noise when you're playing your game. The big minus at the moment is that screen orientation does seem to be a little buggered when it comes to landscape screen recordings. But at the moment, it's still in beta and there's a lot of time to fix this issue. And just as a further point, a lot of people have been saying that they've downloaded iOS 11 and they're seeing bugs across the system, such as the YouTube search bar not appearing so they can't upload videos. Well, that is the nature of a beta release and I did warn you before you downloaded it. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, do please give me a like. And if you have any more questions about the new iOS screen recorder on Apple devices, 
pop those questions in the comments below. Otherwise, subscribe to the Video Gadget channel for a lot more iOS screen recording content just like this. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now. I'm the happy chocolate ice cream.